Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. If you are new here, feel free to like and subscribe. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. So the first step into making a smooth landing is the glide slope, which is the green diamond that you see on the screen right now. As you can see, it is going up, which means that you are too low and you have to get higher. What your job is, is that you have to get the green diamond in the middle. And just like how if it goes high, if it goes low, that means you're too high and you should go down. The next step is the trim. Most planes use 25 to 30 percent of trim. But if you're ever flying a 777 and want to do a smooth landing, I would highly recommend 25 percent. For example, in this video, I'm using a 777, and as you can see, I just finished setting the trim percent to 25 percent. Next step is you want to pay attention to this little circle right here. This circle points to where you are heading and where you're going to touch down. And you want to keep it on the touchdown zone, which are those little rectangles. Next up are the poppy lights. These are the least important stuff you will use for landing because these are basically a second glide slope for you. You want to keep them aligned with red and white. If they're both white, that means they're too high. But if they're both red, you're too low. And the last step is to combine all of those steps together and just make a smooth landing. It's okay if you don't land perfectly on the touchdown zone, because if you look at my butter landings, most of them are pretty late, except for the perfect butter landing in the 787. 